Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 10 of the Giant Music Q&A series. We are officially in the double digits. We have hit episode number 10 and that is amazing. Today's question comes from William Keith O'Donnell and he asks, Have you ever had writer's block? And if so, what methods would you use to get your head clear to start writing again? Writer's block is a very common thing and happens to everyone. It used to happen to me a lot more than before. One thing I do when I have writer's block and I really, really don't feel like doing any more writing or doing, I like, I like basically tap out for the night, I'll probably just clear my head and relax. And usually writer's block will happen to me uh, after a long period of time. It won't happen to me right away. I'll start doing my stuff and then I'll get writer's block. I'll just call it quits for the night and I will just relax. I don't know. I'll, and I'll just relax and I'll just take a, take some time to just relax. You too, face. Facebook, uh, check my social media and I'll update my social media. When you have writer's blog, it's a good time to just relax and just go on social media and interact with your friends. That's what that's one thing I do. A system that I started out for myself in order to deal with writer's blog is that I have a bunch of different projects, you know? I have In This I See People Talk, which is my podcast. I have Giant Music, which is my main music project. I have uh, Lunatic Rappers, which is my rap pro my rap side project. I have Chip Machine, which is my 8-bit side project. I have all of these different projects that I do. So whenever I get a writer's blog for one project, Project, I can very easily just jump onto another project and start writing for that one. So I'm always juggling projects. I'm always working on different ideas and different soundtracks. So I always have something to work on. And so if I get writer's block for like a giant music track, I'll be like, oh man, no, no clue. I don't know what to do. I'll jump onto a chip machine track and I'll be like, okay, yes, this is this is fresh. This is new. I haven't been working on this for like six hours now. I can start clean and just see what I do. And then usually I'll get pretty far ahead into working on my whatever chip machine content I'm working on. So I always have something to jump onto. I always have a project on the go ready to start writing on. But that depends on the type of person that you are. If you really only have your main project and that's like your baby and you just want to work on that and you don't have more than one project and you have writer's block for that one project, just relax. It's okay. Writer's block happens to everyone. Just take the rest of the night off and just get back to it in the morning. But if you're like me, you have more than one project going, so it's really easy to jump onto another project and start working on it. You're always working. You always have something going on. Writer's block is something that's very, very common. It happens to the best of us. It happens to everyone. And when I have writer's block, I'll usually just relax the rest of the night. I'll spend my time on social media, updating whatever, whatever pages I need to update. I also like to get out of the house. I like to just call up a friend and uh, just go out for a walk, go do something, you know, just get out of the house, get out of my studio, which I spend most of my day in anyways, you know, go out there, get some fresh air, catch up with some friends, chill, you know, that'll usually get me pretty relaxed. So yeah, that's what I would do for writer's block. It's also kind of the same thing when I'm mixing my music. When I mix my music and I'll be there for a long time, after a while, everything starts sounding the same and I can't fine tune as well anymore with my ears. I'll go up, get, get some food, relax, do whatever I want, not listen to any music or anything for about half an hour and then I'll jump back onto my project. That's maybe something else that could work for you guys. If you have writer's block, maybe half an hour off will help you. Me, usually when I get writer's block, I get a huge writer's block, and so I have to take the rest of the day off. Before, I used to get those small writer's block where it would be a 30 minute thing, and then I would be like, okay, so now I'm just gonna go uh, relax. Since I focus, I guess, on more major projects, when I get writer's block, I really get writer's block, and it's really intense, and I really need to take the rest of the night off. Unless, once again, I do the whole Okay, I'm done for this project for tonight. Let's do something else. So yeah, that's how I deal with writer's block, really. Man, I wonder how many times I said writer's block in this episode, for real. <laughs> writer's block is just something that happens to everyone, and it's part of the creative process. That's just the bottom line. So yeah, that's everything I got for you, uh, Willem Keith O'Donnell. Thank you so much for that question. Very good question. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, make sure to smash that like button, and I will see you in the next one. You can follow me on Twitter at TweetMeJayan. Like me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash band, and my website is JayanMusic.com. I'm getting a lot of emails for people asking me when I'm going to be able for hire again. Don't worry. When I get back from France, I'll make an official update when I'm back. And you can start hiring me again. I will be available for hire and freelance, all that stuff. I have a lot of people waiting for me. So you might not be able to get to your project right away, but I will find the time. If you hire me, I will find the time. And I will make it happen. All of my information is on my website. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time, guys. Take care.